Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. It's Baltic again this morning and I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil because I'm being naughty and de-icing my car with the kettle. We all do it, we all do it. I actually don't put the boiling water on the glass, I like tip it on the top and then it runs down so by the time it's hit the glass it's a little bit cooler but warm enough to melt the ice, you know? Anyway. We're off to Home Bargains this morning. It's Friday. We're going to do our usual Friday errands because we haven't done that since last year. Because we were all out of sync, weren't we, with Christmas and all them silly days. Love a routine. <laughs> yeah, we're back to our normal routine. So I'm going to do my Friday errands this morning, pick up everything we need for the weekend. Going to go to Home Bargains as well. So we'll do a shop with me. So yeah, my kettle's boiled. Let's go. I'm off the deep end. Oh, the Audi TTs, you don't have a freaking windscreen at the back. So you've got that massive window and no way to see out of it. I've had this car for over seven years now, I think. So I've got a little Audi TT Sport. And she's done me so proud, like I love her so much, however, and yeah, unfortunately she just doesn't suit my lifestyle anymore. She doesn't do well in the countryside and especially in the winter. She's like a little pocket rocket, a bit like me really, but she just wants to go and obviously in the winter in the snow, especially on dirt roads or country roads, um, you know, you need like a four wheel drive. It's as simple as that. But yeah, she's a lovely little car, but she just doesn't do well in this weather. <laughs> like I am scared to drive her in the winter, like, you know. Anyway, a little bit of a ramble there while we waited for her to warm up. Let's get to home bargains. how handy look at these as soon as you walk in you've got car scrapers we've got dashboard wipes we've got cherry snow foam that sounds really good doesn't it what does that do we've got some screen wash there's no excuses you guys we've got antifreeze and coolant and we've got this nine piece car cleaning kit so no excuses oh i'm so jealous so jealous look at this cherry blossom bubble bath especially in the cold. Oh, they've got lavender as well. That would send me right to sleep. And these lavender salts, coconut salts, what? Himalayan salts. I miss having a bath, especially when it's this cold. Guys, we've got no central heating in the house, don't forget. We, we've got electric fires, no central heating. I've had this before in the last house, Starry Night Bath Salts. Great for the winter and yeah, cinnamon and spiced orange. We've got some face masks. I might have to pick some of these up. Oh, this is new, Glow Skin. I might have to pick some of this up. I could buy everything. They've literally got everything I need right now. All the car cleaning stuff. They've got these hot water bottles. I've just come on my period as well, so I really need this. <laughs> So spring has landed, you guys, at Home Bargains. We've got some Mother's Day gifts. I suppose these could be for Valentine's Day as well, but underneath them are definitely Mother's Day gifts. They've got these little lavender um, windowsill for plants, and they've got these little... What are they? I wonder if they're hyacinth. What are they? Um, they look like they'll fall all over, though. Do you know, like it's like polystyrene bowls. Anyway, they're sweet looking, aren't they? How sweet are them? They've got Mother's Day gift bags for 89p, 69p. My eyes are terrible. And they've got Peppa Pig gift bags. Oh my God, Peppa Pig. I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> We've got gingerbread love heart biscuits where you decorate them yourself with icing. Oh, these look really good, don't they? They look like, um, what are they called? My favourites. Ferrero Rocher. They look like a dupe of Ferrero Rocher. Oh, look at these, you guys. I love these little glass heart dishes with gold trim around the top. They're so sweet. 
how nice are these for little like dips or a little Valentine's evening in. Oh, I've got total 90s nostalgia with this. Look at this Tatty Teddy vanilla fudge. So for 79p, you've got these little, I, I'm assuming the chocolate lollies. Oh, Haribo heartthrobs. I remember a little boy called Maddox bringing Joelle some of these for Valentine's Day. And they've got some more Mother's Day stuff, I think. Shower essentials kit. So it's got a hair turban and shower cap and all that. Oh, why have I just literally done just that? that I've just literally <laughs> pulled it off. Um, why do I always cap. do that? <laughs> oh my God, how handy is that? I was literally just saying the other day, I need a sewing kit so I can take my little curtains up. What's it got in it? Well, it's got everything you need. Just a perfect little sewing kit that you can pop away in the drawer. Because, you know, we always need one, don't we? Okay, these are new. I've never seen these before. The packaging is stunning. It's perfume and it's in these really aesthetically pleasing bottles. The Jeff Banks perfumes. So they've got all these scents. This one's called Blush. It's really like mattified, heavy packaging. Really, really nice bottles. Um, and then this Lush one as well. Let's have a sniff. So they've got these matcha tea sets for three ninety nine. I've never had a matcha tea. Are they any good, or is it was it just a hype? Like seriously, are they any good? Leave me a comment if you've tried them and you rate 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 them. So they've got lots more Valentine's decorations, balloons, and eye masks and lollies. <laughs> How funny are these tuxedo boxer shorts? They'd be really good if you were getting married as well, actually. They've got these Love Hearts lip balms? Lip balms. I'm confused. <laughs> do, do people buy things like that for Valentine's Day? They must do. They've got these Love Hearts makeup brushes as well. So we're into the Jeff Banks. I think this is like a men's. Is it a men's range? I really don't need another pair of sunglasses, but these are like a cat eye tortoiseshell and I just haven't got anything like this in my collection. They've got some Ramoa dupe cases, the steel looking ones. Okay, it's happening and you guys, we're meant to be on a diet, it's only January. Oh gosh, mini eggs, mini eggs, crunches. Oh, this looks good to me today. Oh, toffee crisp. Yeah, I love a toffee crisp. Um, and I also love what they've got down there as well, the lion bars as well. But you can't go wrong with a Cadbury's cream egg, can you? Iconic. We've landed at Easter, you guys. They're just giving us everything all at once in today's shop with me. I am overwhelmed. They've got this little Easter chick. Is this giving Nanny McPhee vibes? This chick is giving me Nanny McPhee vibes with the hat. <laughs> so I was really artsy as a child and I would have absolutely been in heaven with all this crafting stuff at Easter that they've got today. They've got so much stuff. What are these? Little, little bunnies on a wooden plaque. And they hang in, they hang in, you hang them. You could make a baby's mobile out of them. I mean, like a cop mobile. How nice. And what are these for? They're just a giant Easter bunny ears. Bow on the little girl's door, bedroom door. Would you put that? Four ninety nine. They've got these little egg string lights and they come in an egg box, like an actual egg box. That's really, really genius. They've got these glass egg jars. And I feel like they've got these every single year, these bunny top jars as well. Oh, they're new, a little bunny bowl. That's really sweet, isn't it? Ceramic white. Oh, I love that. They always do a serving board, whatever the occasion, don't they? <laughs> 
So they've got Easter balloons. If you're doing Easter parties, they've even got Easter tissue paper. That's really, really cute. Like, what would you do with that for? Our cashier is on their way. We've got some Easter egg baskets. If you're doing an Easter egg hunt, the, those are nice at the bottom. And then they've got the standard long baskets. And then they've even got little mini ones as well. If you've got little toddlers, how cute is that? And then we've got these green, like, moss rabbit statues up here they're quite nice <gasps> these are absolutely stunning look at these i swear i had a pair of these slippers when i was a child oh look they've even got easter reed diffusers like the world is going mad let's have a look at the scents so it looks like they're just putting this stuff out i've just found this little um what would you call that? Ooh. Seagrass bunny, which is really nice. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Found myself in the children's aisle because we were just passing through, but 90s nostalgia as if they've got Kerbers. And they've even got like, um, what's it called? Scooby-Doo and Tasmanian Devil. I remember that as if they've got that today. Okay, so we're in the kitchen aisles and these are new. I've never seen these before. So the new dinner sets, they look really rustic in the gray at the top. And then they've also got this cream color at the bottom, two piece set. I love this Tom Kitchen collection. And I've never seen these before in black and white. So I'm still on the hunt for a knitted throw. So I do like to look what everywhere is got in store. So they've got these four fur winter warmers in stock and then this is just beautiful in this like claret burgundy color that's gorgeous isn't it i've also got it in a green i'm feeling like that they're both giving me christmas vibes them top two colors i'm in absolute savory heaven look at all these crisps all these crisps now let's see if they've got those lentil chips these bacon and maple lentil chips that they used to sell. I'm looking for them. Oh, I could just eat some of them today. <gasps> These are so good. Unpopular opinion, but I love scampi fries. I love them. They stink, but I love them. They've got these lavender wreaths for $14.99. They're really cute, and I need something to put up on my front door. Um, aren't these just the sweetest? they don't look awfully fake either they've used quite a lot of foliage for these like different tones of foliage which i think look a little bit better so they've got these little olive plant pots which are really really affordable usually they're quite expensive with olives in them anything with olives on the pots are quite nice as well but you can paint it obviously or stick it in like a basket if you wanted they're quite nice and they're quite decently priced how cute are these little mushroom vases? <laughs> They're really sweet, aren't they? So we're in the homeware section and they've got these vases, vases. Oh, they've also got these pumpkin things as well. I love the ribbed vases. They've got these ribbed vases at the top as well, which are new. I've never seen them before. And then they've got these black and white ribbed lantern style vases. Okay, I'm saving up. I'm saving up for this olive tree. It's giant. It's 99 quid though. I just don't think you're going to get it cheaper at that size. And I've been searching for two years. Okay, we're in the garden section and it's giving me life. Look at these for 34.99. I think they do garden stuff really bloody well, honestly. And then they've got all these statues. I've never seen these in here before. And they're inside as well. The owls are just giving me life. I love the woodland creatures. Oh, hi, Ash. <laughs> and then the squirrels as well. More woodland creatures. Oh, guys. Do you know that little round window in the clock room? I've just seen this from the Jeff Banks collection. It's like a rope style shelf. I think it would fit in that round window in the cloakroom we can put plants on it it'll sit above the toilet genius hey everyone it is a different day same outfit 
different day. I've just got back from doing the food shop. It's actually Sunday, January the 45th. Basically, you guys, I had the best intentions on Friday. Got home from Home Bargains and literally took a nose dive with my mood. I just got my inconvenience for the month. A sobbing, emotional melt. Literally an ice cube. By the time the day ended and my husband walked through the door, I was scracking my eyes out at the thought of him dying. There's nothing wrong with him, by the way. A thought popped into my head, like, what would I ever do if Ash died and, like, just emotion overcame me. And he was just like, are you okay? <laughs> and obviously you guys, I'm not in the mood to film a video when I am like that. And I'm just telling you this because I can't remember if it was the same day, but over this weekend, I did get a message, uh, sorry, like a comment. And it said along the lines of, you've got a really sunny personality and you're very happy all the time and I love your smile and keep smiling. Maybe it were two, two comments and I've just, just merged them into one. So I responded and I was like, oh, that's really nice of you to say that. And I am quite positive and like, oh, like most of the time, but I do have my off days like and you don't see them days i am so hungry today what time is it 12 22 it's 12 22 on sunday i've been to church this morning for the first time i went and joined the service this morning at 10 30 so so that's made me feel better got a headache from a child who was crying the whole time went and did my sunday food shop later so i've got roast dinner vibes obviously we don't do sunday without a roast dinner enough me babbling on i have got a little bit of something something we picked up from home bargains so i'm going to make a nice cup of tea and then we're going to sit down and i'll show you what i got <laughs> hello so in no particular order we're going to go through what i picked up i couldn't resist it guys but this is a flocked rabbit 12 inch flocked rabbit that's what it says on the little label here and it's got this lovely little necklace on i might change the ribbon on it um although the ribbon is giving easter vibes isn't it but i might change the ribbon on it i bet you it looks really expensive if we change the ribbon right let's do that together stop it look at it oh my god that's lovely isn't it we've literally just susie-fied it it's giving me as well alice in wonderland vibes and you guys know i love alice in wonderland because alice out of alice in wonderland and i mean the two tim burton films love tim burton and um yeah she reminds me in particular of my joelle like it's so emotional because that is literally joelle like the tomboy Alice <laughs> with the beautiful long blonde hair slaying Jabberwockies. And clearly I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs> My Alice would believe me. But yeah, a little white bunny rabbit. So the label says it's flocked. I think this was only about 2 99 as well. We'll get the receipt out at the end and I'll just go through everything with you, what, what things cost because I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's like a furry rabbit and you can do all sorts with this, can't you, for styling reasons. If you've got shelves to style, mantelpieces to style, sideboards. I like to decorate seasonally and I prefer to focus on the nature elements of the seasons but yeah nothing screams spring more than little bunny rabbits at easter time <laughs> okay next up we've got this little trailing plant it is in a, a standard black pot plastic pot it's obviously a four plant a trailing plant is it what is it is it mother of pearl no it's not a mother of pearl yeah i'm not sure what kind of plant it is it says artificial garland in pot from the home collection um, anyway, I love hanging these off of um, shelves and things and I can't get enough of them. Some of them look really artificial. Now, I do, I do admit this one looks particularly artificial, but nonetheless, I liked it for the price because normally some of them can be quite pricey. And even though I don't like the black part, I will put it in a little basket of some sort or you can just paint the pot 
can't you? So I could paint it in the slipper satin, the Farron ball colour that I absolutely love in this house that seems to be making its appearances here and there. Anyway, not sure where it's going to go. I've got shelves to style here, there and everywhere in this house. Next up, a bit of a boring purchase really, but I, I bought this scrubbing brush. This is ideal for like scrubbing floors or showers or tiles. I've got a dog wash to scrub as well. And I just haven't got one with a handle on it like this. So I just thought that was just really handy for my cleaning kit basically. So yeah, a little boring scrubbing brush. <laughs> Next, I've got a Bath and Body Exfoliating Wash Mitt. It looks like this and it's like a sisal. It's quite rough. But I just love these because I love nothing more than exfoliating my body. And this is just like a glove that you have in the shower. They're so affordable as well. It's just got a normal foam back here. It's great as well for getting off any fake tan. You know, like when you've got that tiger bread looking skin from the fake tan. Well, it's really good at getting off that. They're really good for body oils as well and nourishing your skin and getting off all the dead skin cells. I just love these so much. I use these all the time and my last one's got really, really tatty. So I just picked up another one. Is this not the most exciting haul you've ever seen? <laughs> I've picked up some of these and I think they're just under eye water boost, like masks. So you get one pair in the pack and it's from the Simple range. I do love these eye masks, especially in the winter because I don't know about you and you've probably seen actually at the beginning of this video, quite puffy eyes in the morning sometimes especially when it's really cold for some reason so um yeah I do like these in the mornings so apparently it reduces puffiness appearance in five minutes it's a water boost and it's made in Korea 100% hydrogel no artificial colour or perfume, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin no alcohol, no mineral oils, non-animal derived I think it's probably basically just water isn't it and I've just been sucked right in again. Next up, we've got Sadie the bunny, apparently from the label, it's called Sadie, Sadie the bunny. And it's this little, I would say rope, but it's not a jute rope. It's almost like, um, what's the stuff called? I'm literally not sure what this stuff is called, but it's braided and it's almost like jute, but it's not basically just a braided bunny and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and I had to have her. I can't remember how much this little bunny was but it was definitely affordable and they had it in a basket like they were just putting them out in my local store anyway but I've got a receipt actually so we'll go through that in a minute and uh, look at all these prices but yeah how cute is that? So I'm hoping to do a spring decorate with me video this year, hopefully. We'll do what we can in the house anyway, because that just gives me life. And I miss doing the decorate with me videos, you know, the autumn decorate with me. Obviously, it's just going to get better the more we go along in this renovation. But I like to collect little things along the way and just get inspired, just like everybody else, because it just helps me live through this renovation. Like, let me live, will ya? So I've got the receipt and the Easter flocked 12 inch rabbit was 2 dollars which is really affordable, isn't it? They had them in all them other pastel colours as well. I just love the, the white. It's like an off-white actually, it's really quite nice. And there weren't many of them left. I noticed they were pink and mint green left, like a lot of them colours, but not the white. Sadie the bunny was 3 dollars the little braided bunny we've just seen. And then we have... Oh, I actually got some Fabulosa laundry cleanser and I used it on the day I bought it and that was $1.99 and I tipped the whole bottle in. It was a one litre Fabulosa bottle of like laundry cleanser and the reason why I've used it all is because you cannot machine wash um, wax jackets from Barber. You know like the Barber wax jackets? You can't put them in the washing machine because it ruins the wax coating on them. You've got to wash them in cold water while it's stunk. So um, I just laid it in the bath of cold water, like totally dunked it, and I literally poured in the whole litre bottle of this 
um fabulosa laundry cleanser anyway that was 1.99 best 1.99 i've ever spent <laughs> artificial garland in a park the little trailing plant basically was 3.99 and it's quite full as well you know, like lots of trails coming off of it so it's quite affordable that one i'm always picking up these plants so i know like some of them are ridiculously priced and then we have the simple under eye masks which were 69p okay what's that oh spa sense exfoliating mitt 99p was the exfoliating mitt scrubbing brush the little handheld scrubbing brush which was one pound 29 so we spent in total 16 pounds and 8p today at home bargains so you guys that's a wrap for this video i'm going to end it here but yeah i'm gonna go and make us all a nice lovely wholesome roast dinner for our sunday well spent and i've even got red velvet cake for afterwards yum thanks so much for joining me in today's video appreciate it so much and always always leave me a comment down below because i love chatting with you guys down there in fact leave me a disco ball emoji in the comments if you're still here at this point because like i said i'm not feeling too sparkly today and that will just really lift me up <laughs> take care everyone bye